this is my burrito, tortilla, wheat fried beans, and garlic, which I grew right here in the in the garden. And now, all these things you see growing here just popped up by themselves. The Oregon grapes I planted in these pots, and all these other things that grew here just grew wild, and they're all edible and medicinal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to my burrito. Plantain leaves. It's not the tastiest thing, but it's nutritious, and I like it in a burrito. Yeah. Pretty good. It's amazing how how healthy these things are. Miner's lettuce. whole thing on there. Flour and all. Put another one over here. Try the dry leaf on the top. Just plucking away the dry leaves. exactly what species it is, but looks to me to be in the aster family, which means it's edible since I have no allergies, not allergic to any of that, because everything in the aster family, as far as I know, is edible. And then it looks like there's a little bit of a, uh, These are only at all tasty when they're young. A goosewood plant. Put that in there too. Some of my hot sauce. I did not make the hot sauce, but I like this kind. Beautiful. Just like me. This one's not coming off. <laughs> Porridge flowers. The point of these things for the bees is the bees need all the help they can get. But I'm just kind of showing off right now. With that, I can make a beautiful burrito. It's going to be tasty.